Now at six, Wisconsin ranks first on a new list, but it's not necessarily a good thing. Wisconsin has the widest graduation rate gap for African Americans versus white high school students. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon Sims. And I'm Charles Benson. The state superintendent says it's a challenge for districts all across the state. Casey Geraldo is live in Wauwatosa to break it all down for us. Casey. Charles and Shannon, here in Wauwatosa, they've managed to keep the achievement gap between white and black students to 3%. They say despite external factors like poverty, they've managed to prioritize attention for students in the schools to help them succeed. And they have three goals. One is math, one is science, and one is equity. It's a top goal for Wauwatosa Public Schools. We are certainly the most diverse school district in the, the 25 highest performing districts in the state. It's a distinction that comes with challenges that contribute to an achievement gap in other districts too. The statewide four-year graduation rate for white students is 93 percent, 64 percent for black students. That's a 29 percent difference. Southeast Wisconsin has a range of graduation gaps. In Brown Deer, the difference is just 2 percent. Milwaukee's gap is 13 percent. Racine comes out. 20% difference between black and white students. There's no need for achievement gaps and we just have to double down our efforts. The state superintendent says the divide is partly caused by a lack of resources for larger urban areas, but also it's a problem of race. In Wisconsin, race is a huge issue as it relates to achievement and we have to make sure that all our kids have the same opportunities and that's not always the case. Evers hopes to get more money to districts in need and help those districts create opportunities for students, which in Wauwatosa starts with encouraging every student to aim high. We want to make sure that everybody that is in our district believes all students can be successful. Evers tells me he plans to include more money for urban school districts in his next budget. He also hopes to help Milwaukee schools help students catch up on credits they may have missed by starting the school year sooner. Live in Wauwatosa, Casey Geraldo, today's TMJ4. All right, Casey, thanks.